So today at NAB, Blackmagic announced its new version of DaVinci Resolve, it's DaVinci Resolve 16. And with that, there was a lot of new things added and I seen that they were rocking the public beta badge on the software when they were using it. But if you did want to give it a try, they do want you to do a database update. And a lot of the times when they're doing a database update, that means that it's not going to be backwards compatible. So to be able to salvage any of your project, if something doesn't work with your hardware, with the new version, you always want to be able to go back. One thing that's really nice about Blackmagic is they have all of their previous versions of the software. If you ever need to go back because of something not being stable or compatibility issues or something like that. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be backing up our database in case DaVinci Resolve 16 doesn't run smoothly on your hardware. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start up our DaVinci Resolve. I currently am in 16, but it's gonna be the same for 15. Um, you're gonna to go to where you have all of your projects and we're gonna click this little button over here. And you're gonna see the databases that you currently have and you're just going to click on the one that you want to back up you're going to click on it and then this little button right here is the backup button we're going to click on that then we're going to navigate to where we want to save this and what i like to do is when i make a backup i'm going to just add the date and you hit save depending on how much stuff is in the database it sometimes does take a little while another window will pop up stating that the database was backed up so now we can install the next DaVinci Resolve that we're going to be using. In this case, we're installing DaVinci Resolve 16, the public beta, the first one. We install it. And what you'll notice is once you jump in, you're going to see something like this. And it's going to say that the uh, database needs to be updated. So all you have to do is click the button and then it gets updated. Now, the current version that's connected to your DaVinci Resolve is the newest version that you're gonna be using in 16. And then if there's big changes, they're gonna want you to update that again. Uh, but now this database that you currently have live is not backwards compatible. What you're gonna do is if you're currently having issues with DaVinci Resolve stability, with 16 public beta or whatever version that you have jumped to, uninstall it, and then you're gonna install whichever version was working for you last, whichever one that you, you had the, uh, the previous database version on. You're going to install that, and then you're just going to come over to this button right here, once you have the, the new DaVinci installed, and you're gonna to go to restore, and then you're going to just restore that previous database that you had. And then once you do that, everything should come back. But this is a really big thing to do because if you use DaVinci Resolve as your primary editing suite and your system is currently having problems with the public beta or something of that nature, and it's going to stop you from being able to finish work, you really want to have that backup database that has the previous version of the database. Um, so you can go back to the old version of DaVinci Resolve and still be productive until the new version comes into play that might play more stable on your system. But that's kind of it I have for you for today. I, I could go through all of the all the updates and stuff, but I personally haven't used them and I wanna get a little more comfortable with them. There were a couple of things that I noticed in the keynote that currently isn't in the standalone. So I will be making a comment about that because they said that you could do some stuff in the keynote but I tried it in this in this new version and you can't. So I don't know if it's gonna be in a new release or if it's something that just was misspoken, but stay tuned for that later this week. But with that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching.